All right, well, we're staying in Milwaukee County for our first CBS 58 Hometowns visit this week. That's right. Listen up. We'll be in the village of Sherwood this morning. And joining us this morning is village trustee Melissa Moore Baldoff. Uh, Melissa, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I've got a question for you. What sure. makes Shorewood a great place to live? Well, I would say the thing that most makes Charlotte a great place is the people. Uh, I love our neighbors. We're a wonderful community that is so supportive of one another. Uh, but, you know, probably a very close second would be uh, that we're right on Lake Michigan. Uh, we have so many chances to get outside and enjoy uh, the outdoors here, whether it's at Atwater Beach on Lake Michigan, over on the Milwaukee River in Hubbard Park. Uh, or going over to one of the, the parks in the area, like Estabrook Park. Uh, there's so many great chances to get outside, walk around, ride your bike. Okay. Well, that sounds like a great time, riding your bike around. Got to get a piece of nature. I know yeah. we're looking forward to doing that later today. I hear we'll be on our bikes. I don't know what's happening, but I'm excited about it. So what do you really want people to know about living in Shorewood? Anything fun going on right now or new projects in the works? Absolutely. Uh, we have our farmer's market on Sunday mornings, uh, which is a really great chance for people to get over to Shorewood and explore uh, some of what we really love about our community. Uh, we have fantastic vendors, you know, you can get food, coffee, there's usually live music, uh, get produce, so many wonderful things. Uh, it's in Estabrook Park on, on Sunday mornings. Uh, we also have uh, Hubbard Park. Uh, there's a beer garden over there. You can walk and bike the Oak Leaf Trail. So really some great chances to, to get outside and explore. And also, you know, on, on our main business corridor on Oakland Avenue, we have great restaurants, shops for people to come visit. So, uh, you know, there's a lot to do in Shorewood and we'd love to have people come visit. And what do you say for folks like myself who's new to town or maybe they just never been to Shorewood? What are maybe uh, some of those hidden gems that they could visit? Uh, definitely, I would say, uh, We've got some great places to stop and grab a bite to eat or a drink. Uh, you know, we've got Cloud Red is a really wonderful restaurant. Uh, Benji's, fantastic place to get breakfast uh, or lunch or dinner. Uh, so really some great restaurants uh, to visit. Um, so yeah, I think it's just a wonderful place to come, come and explore. All right, Melissa, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate you. We look forward to being out in Shorewood today. Thanks. Definitely. Look at a deli nearing its 80th birthday. Hi, Nicole. Hey, they actually turn 60 next year, Mike, and we were talking about Benji's Deli and Restaurant because if you come to Shorewood, duh, you have to come to Benji's. <laughs> uh, Mike joining us right now. He's one of the co-owners here. That's a huge anniversary coming up. It is, yeah. Um, I, you know, like I had told you earlier, 50 just blew by. Yeah. Um, we didn't really do anything. 60 is coming up next year, so we'll see what happens. That's fantastic. 60 years in this community. Tell me a little bit. You're talking about your loyal customers. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, um, watching families come in, um, watching their children grow up, graduate high school, go into college. <laughs> I've watched them now having children and getting married and all yeah. that. So, I mean, it's just been, it's weird. You just, the, find well I don't, I don't really know like, yeah, just, yeah. That's, but that's awesome there's their community and the same people friendly faces keep coming back yep these poor people are eating lunch now we're gonna get okay. <laughs> but tell us what well, is Jay, your... Jay right there has all the hard work up on the oh that's his he's an artist see I love it so the so, community this is very much a part of this community absolutely yeah absolutely. And tell us what you're known for I mean all the food looks amazing we're known for our corned beef yes okay um, you know, we're, we're modeled off of a New York style deli. Yeah. So we have corned beef, pastrami, um, you know, and then we also do breakfast as well. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, our, our probably our most popular sandwich is the Reuben. Yeah, so. the Reuben, as yep. it should be. That's as what I ordered. Be. That's what I ordered. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Thank you for your letting us stop by today. Absolutely. Yeah. You. you guys, just for a little, a little behind the scenes here, we all placed our order, this whole crew, before we did this live shot so that we can sit down and eat right after this. Because if you come to Benji's, you have to eat, right? You guys know that. <laughs> you certainly do. It's a fantastic place. Mm -hmm. Thanks. On CBS 58 Hometown Stop today, we're in the Milwaukee County community of Shorewood. Yeah, Shorewood's western border is the Milwaukee River. Nicole Coglin is there to share the mission of Milwaukee River Keepers. Hi, Nicole. 
Be correct, yes, we're right along the Milwaukee River. We were just saying what a beautiful day it is to be out here. And I'm joined right now with Cheryl, who is a river keeper that is of the Milwaukee River. Thank you for stopping out here. To, first of all, to explain what a river keeper is. Sure. Um, so I work with Milwaukee River Keeper, and we're basically a science-based advocacy organization. And our mission is to protect the water quality and wildlife habitat of the Milwaukee, Menominee, and Connecticut Rivers. Um, but we're, really what we're doing is just working for clean, fishable, swimmable, drinkable water. Yeah. And tell us a little bit, because there's been a no, a good amount of work and, and attention on this part of the river. Yeah, so um, the Milwaukee River has come a really long way. You know, over the last few decades, there's been over 11 dams. That um, there's been a lot of huge improvements in sewage treatment, huge improvements in stormwater treatment. And because of a lot of this collective work, we've gone from about, I'd say, five or six species of fish in the early 90s to about 40 species of fish today. So our, we know that the work is working. Um, right where we're sit standing right here is at Esterbrook Falls. Um, we were able to remove um, Esterbrook Dam about three years ago. The falls, um, we're, right now there's been some engineering and design work done to see whether we can put a fish passage here and it's looking um, good. There's still some additional planning and design work that needs to happen and um, looking to get that funded. Um, and there's some additional uh, fish passage work that's happening up in Clutch Park at those falls and that work will probably start in um, 2023. But in all in all, there's about 20 different habitat projects that are being planned in the lower Milwaukee, Menominee, Kinnickinnick rivers as part of this larger area of concern work. Um, so part of that will be a sediment cleanup and that's cleaning up decades and decades of industrial contamination, a lot of which has been sitting at the bottom of the Milwaukee River since before we even had a Clean Water Act. Um, and then, so we're gonna be cleaning all of that up over the next five or so years. Um, and that will be a very large visible project that a lot of people will see. Yeah. And then we'll be going back in and doing a lot of really great habitat restoration as well. Important work. And again, it's, it's working. We know it that it's working. working. So yeah. that's wonderful. Cheryl, thank you again for joining us. As you said, the western border of Shorewood. So very appropriate place uh, to wrap up our hometown visit here. Oh, one more stop. We're going to hit the beer garden as well later because that's where you really should end things, right? We'll toss it back to you guys. Sounds good, Nicole. Thank you very much. 58 Hometowns Tour is celebrating the village of Shorewood today. Yeah, in the northwest corner, you'll find Esterbrook Park, and it's summer, so of course we can't talk about Esterbrook without talking about the beer garden. CBS 58's Nicole Coughlin is there and shows us what's going on in that beer garden today. Hi, Nicole. Hi guys, yeah, you really you actually shouldn't talk about Shorewood at all if you're not going to mention Esterbrook Beer Garden, correct? Right? I'm here with Hans Weisgerber III. Hello to you. Good afternoon. Hey, what a beautiful afternoon at the beer garden. It is a perfect day to be sitting in the Esterbrook Beer Garden. Yeah, tell us a little, we obviously spent the day in Shorewood, but this is a really big part of the community and you guys got to be proud of that. We absolutely are. We've been here for 10 years okay. and um, when we created the beer garden, there were no public beer gardens, really even anywhere in public parks in America since Prohibition. And they had been a mainstay of social life, both in Milwaukee and in the suburbs all along the Milwaukee River and the Lakeshore. Yeah. Um, so the idea of bringing it back to a public place and making it a gathering place for the community was, was the idea and the community of Shorewood has fully embraced this beer garden. Yeah, and this is authentic. That was important as well. Absolutely. We modeled it after 400 years of beer garden tradition <laughs> in Munich. Um, if you go to Munich right now and you visit places like uh, the English Garden or um, the Waldwirtschaft, those are some of the famous beer gardens, Ooh, okay. you will, if you've been to one of those places, um, you will completely feel at home here. Recognize it here. All right, and of course you guys are open every day, right? Seven days a week? Yes, every day at noon. Okay. Um, last calls at nine, the park closes at 10. We will, we frequently will open even during inclement weather as long as it's not like dangerous yeah, weather, yeah. but you know, just Drinking because, beer in the rain just sounds yeah, fun. Just because there are a few right. raindrops falling, come on out, we got umbrellas and awnings to sit under. Come out this weekend, right? There's something coming up. Uh, this Thursday, we are hosting a welcome to German Fest. Uh, German Fest starts on Friday. Okay. And uh, here at the Beer Garden, we will have Alex Meixner. He's a Grammy Award winning accordion us with his full band playing rock and accordion music and we will have a Moss Krugstemmen, a Stein holding contest. Stein? Okay. Not this Stein, the big one. The big deal. Yep. And All that's right. free to enter. So <laughs> that's this, um, this, this this Thursday. Thursday. Yes, okay. here at the Esterbrook Beer Garden. All right. Speaking of beer, we're gonna sign off. We have to be done for the day because there's beer sitting here waiting. <laughs> Prost. Thank Prost. you, Hans. We'll send it back to you guys. Shorewood, just north of the city of Milwaukee, covers about uh, one and a half square miles. But as Nicole Coughlin shows us, you don't want to miss this small village. Shorewood is next on the CBS 58 Hometowns Tour.
58 Hometowns Tour brings us to the first suburb north of the city of Milwaukee. Bordered by Lake Michigan on the east and the Milwaukee River on the west, welcome to the village of Shorewood. We are the Shorewood Schools Mountain Bike Team. Um, we've got kids from 6th grade to 12th grade. Uh, this year, just over 100 kids. If you're familiar with cross-country running, what we do is cross-country mountain biking. So we'll go on trails, um, we'll ride, you know, for miles, but it's, it's not extreme. It's something that anybody can do at, at any pace. Mountain biking is a really, it's just really fun sport for everybody. It's, I think, the only sport that we can do as a family, right? So we have um, coaches join our team. We've got a, a, about 50 coaches, um, volunteer coaches, most of whom are parents. Um, so they can come ride with their kids, camp with their kids, um, just something that not a lot of other sports can, can provide. Welcome everybody to Atwater Beach in Shorewood. This beach is a treasure of Shorewood. It's accessible to all. Um, it's free. The village of Shorewood has worked really hard to maintain the beach. There's been a uh, rebuilding of the stairs recently. There's been some bluff retention work with landscaping. Uh, we have lifeguards from mid-June till mid-August, and we are one of the only beaches that has lifeguards. We're at Benji's Deli and Restaurant. We're known for our corned beef. Uh, the Reuben is obviously our biggest seller. Um, we're also known for our breakfast. We have the apple popple, which people are apple, whatever, they don't know really what to say it, call it. We're turning 60 next year. Um, so we've been here forever, um, and the community has always been very supportive of us. And I've watched families come in here. I've watched their children grow up. I've watched their children have children. What a beautiful day to spend in this pedestrian-friendly village of Shorewood. To everyone who we saw walk on by or come by on a bike and said hello, thank you for the warm welcome. For 58 Hometowns, that's a wrap from the village of Shorewood.